Good morning all. Sunday morning. Last night's uh, live video was very nice. We had quite a good uh, amount of people joining. <coughs> and somehow, for the most part, we ended up talking about pets. In my case, pets that didn't make the uh, distance for one reason or another. This morning, I'm once again smoking the Soren Refberg. Um, I'm in the process of, as GLPs put it, smoking the hell out of it um, because it hasn't been delivering on flavour. And the tobaccos that I've smoked in it have had a, a new pipe flavour in it despite it having been smoked a fair amount. So um, I was quoting an article by GLPs in Tobaccos and Pipes, or Pipes and Tobacco magazine in which uh, one of his friends said, smoke the hell out of it. And I saw him in another interview with a pipe maker um, that his standard way of breaking in a pipe is to smoke it for three weeks straight. <coughs> smoke it every day for three weeks. Um, and then set it aside for a bit and then come back to it and then it smokes perfectly. Um, I've never done that with a pipe. I've always adhered to the uh, advice of smoke a pipe and then let it rest. So I very rarely smoke a pipe back to back. But I am doing it on this one. Um, I smoked it on Friday, smoked it Saturday and I'm smoking it again today, Sunday. And I, I think it is breaking a little bit. I think we're getting somewhere. I'm not sure that I'll go the whole three weeks with it. Probably smoke other pipes in between as well, but I'm going to do my best to smoke it every day. This morning, I'm smoking some... Uh, and for a Virginia blend and this is a full pack which I'm going to open in a minute um, but I'm smoking from this uh, pouch which I got from well it doesn't matter where I got it from um, and I've got to say I think I think this is one of those tobacco blends which is under the radar it's phenomenal it's 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 almost a, an over the counter. Uh, certainly, in some countries in Europe, it's an over the counter uh, amphora. Um, but it's it's really. I, I first got to amphora with uh, amphora full aroma. And that was my first foray. Uh, I'm just going to see if I've got a, a pouch of that nearby. that's the full aroma and I really got to like that when I first um, went to, to visit Karen Azrati when I bought that, a lot of that vintage tobacco from the Azrati sale um, the first time I went I went there a few times the first time I went I bought some full aroma and I smoked it and I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it I was smoking it all the time and I never really considered buying any of the others once I really got into Virginia's, um, when I was on one of the websites that I buy from, I noticed that they had the Virginia. I bought a pouch. I opened it and it had a fair amount of mold. It wasn't plume, it was mold. So I took out all the moldy bits and I put it back in the jar. And mold is mold, you know, it's a bacteria, so it's there. So every so often I take it out of the jar again and just get rid of any obviously mouldy bits. Um, see, even on this piece, although it looks like plume, it probably won't focus, but it, even though it looks like plume, there is actually hairy bits on it, which means that it's really mould, not plume. And um, even though it's not going to do me any harm, I shouldn't think, 
Um, I just didn't want it to spread and consume the whole jar. So I do this every so often and get rid of anything which looks like mold. And it seems to be keeping to a minimum. But what I want to say is that I think that this is a, 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 a tobacco which is undervalued. Um, it's it's fantastic. It's really got a rich sweetness to it, a natural, figgy, fruity sweetness. But it's quite the, the sweetness is really rich. It's a I suppose you could call it a broken flake because it's got some really chunky bits in there. Not as chunky as McClellan's broken flake, but it's it's not a ribbon cut by any means. Um, and I just load it straight like this. I didn't even rub it out at all. I just put it straight into the pipe and it smokes fantastically. It's got such a great flavour. And from a moisture content point of view, it's pretty ready to go as well. So that's going to go back in the jar. This bag I got from Izzy from Happy Go, go Lucky Piper. And I wanted to open it because I'm also just a little bit concerned that maybe it's an amphora thing and maybe it's also got a mold in it in which case I wanted to catch it before it got too disastrous so I'm just going to put this one back in its jar just going to wipe it out wipe down the tray so there's no spores on there I'm just going to open this one up and see if there's any date on it. It's made by McBaron. I've got no idea how old this is. Oh yeah, it's got the same beautiful fruity uh, aroma. Uh, there's no mold on this one. This is just fantastic. I think it's a hidden gem, I really do. Um, I, I think it's underrated. Um, I don't see it by many um, tobacconists. I have seen it on um, Danish Pipe Shop. Um, I don't think I've seen it on any of the UK sites. But if you can get it, I would heartily recommend that you try it. If you enjoy Virginia's, you should definitely give it a try. It's always a challenge getting a full bag into this, uh, into these small ones, small jars, but it does go with a bit of elbow grease. sure there's no tobacco sticking out over the edges, breaking the seal. And there we go. Two ounces of Amphora Virginia. Okay, labelled up. And um, for Virginia, easy, so I know who it came from. And that's that, that goes in the cupboard. So, really, what I wanted to say was if you like Virginia, straight Virginia, try some, it's good stuff. Catch you on the next one.